Good morning, air signs. Thank you so much for joining me at Tarot Readings by Roxy. I'm going to do your daily advice oracle card messages for the day. I'm going to stay with Doreen Virtue and Bradley Valentine's Tarot cards. Doreen Virtue's messages from your angels. Archangel Oracle Cards, also by Doreen Virtue. We're going to hear from Archangel Michael, also by Doreen Virtue. Ascendant Masters Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. And every Sunday I pull a Wisdom Chakra Oracle Card, um, a weekly advice card advice card for you know just to see what your overall energy is for the week advice so I have one of them for you well I don't yet but I'm shuffled ready to go um, air signs I am so sorry I need to apologize Aquarius is monthly I really had the time today to look at the video to see where the confusion is coming in. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know if you've heard me mention this, but I don't, I don't do this for a living. Um, I, you know, I, I mean, I do, I do now. I'm not for a living though. I do, um, ha do have a private house cleaning that I do. Um, so I finally just really today I had a chance to watch the entire video and I could totally understand now why you are confused however it is not the Sagittarius video it is the Aquarius video monthly and I do apologize okay with that being said my free reading that I'm going to give at the end of the video, in the description box below, go to my Facebook page, just like the page. I'm going to give away a free 14 card reading, typically $50. And I, I do that once a month and I'm going to pick the winner on my birthday, September 11th. So, be sure to get in on that. My new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing. I love doing this for you guys every day. Um, truly, thank you, everyone, for letting me do your private readings. Those of you that have let me post the readings publicly to YouTube, thank you. Okay, let's get to your cards, air signs. So... Air signs, ten of air, ten of swords typically, okay? This card is endings for me. I usually see it as endings in a relationship. In this deck, it is an angel tarot. It more confirms the fact that the ten of air most definitely represents an ending. In this deck, too, it's just more often than not, it is an ending that's been anticipated, you know, quite possibly welcomed. So you've been definitely expecting this ending. Now it's a weight off your shoulders. You're probably sad about it, you know, about the ending. But at least it's finally over. Now you can, you know, move on. You know, there's no longer hanging on to, you know, what has been, you know, what, what, what could have been. You know, you can now create a beautiful new life. You know, what will be. You know, the card could also indicate someone recovering from an addiction. You know, the emphasis being on recovery. Um, the other thing... The other thought about this, about the Ten of, of Air card is that, you know, often it comes with a bit of 
some drama tied to the card in this deck. You know, confrontation. But whether it's work or relationship related, there's... I feel an ending. Um, okay, so now we have from your angels, we have Crystal. Have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see. So, with this card, the seeds that you've planted in the past are beginning to sprout results now. You possibly might not even be aware of the results, but however, since they are in infancy, now is, now is a time where it is more important than ever to stay positive and hold a clear vision of your divine intervention. Intervention, you know, avoid skeptics and, or those, you know, people who are, you know, negative, the negative mindsetters. Just every day positively affirm that you have already achieved or exceeded your dream. And, and, Ask God and your angels, you know, to give you guidance, you know, to help you. Okay, from the archangels, but really though, when I look at the, you know, this card and these two cards together, you know, this ending, for as sad as it may be, you know, it really is going to bring a positive result. I do feel that. Okay, from your archangels, we have Take Back Your Power. From Archangel Raziel, use your God-given power and intentions to manifest blessings in your life. So, you know, right now you are a luminary, a, a stage, a wise one. You know, a high priestess, high priest, a wizard, you know, a supreme manifester. You know, now is the time to summon up your spiritual strength and power. Put your authority into action in a lovingly and firmly way. You know, lovingly and firmly transform your intentions into reality. Say prayers about your intentions. Ask for guidance and signs to shape your manifestation to the highest possible level. I mean, you know, this, this, this could be devastating. I mean, truly. I mean, it's not a great card. The card sucks, to be honest. But you know what? It is a 10. The 10s for me are completion. You know, everything coming full circle. A new beginning. From Archangel Michael... You know, asking Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. So with this card, the situation that's concerning you can improve with Archangel Michael's help. And this card serves as a reminder that it's never too late, you know, to get God, your angels, you know, just your, you know, your height, your, your spirit. 
involved. Their assistance will improve everything. You know, they'll help you, including giving you inner peace, new ideas, insight. You know, Archangel Michael will help you in ingenious and unexpected ways. I mean, he, he's, a, he's a miracle worker, Archangel Michael. Be open to miraculous, you know, things that, uh, uh, that come in surprising forms. You know, know that you're powerful. You're not a victim. Realize any, release any blame for, your, uh, for yourself or others. Focus upon solutions, not problems. Allow other people to help you, your friends, your family. Keep an open mind to alternative solutions. Ascendant Masters. Detach from drama. Detach from drama. So, with this card, obviously detached from drama, <clears throat> but, you know, somehow you've been drawn into the upsetting world of human egos by fo focusing upon a drama, although it's nothing more than a story. You know, the drama, you know, could feel frightening to you. This card comes to you as a helping hand in finding your way, you know, out of the story, detaching from the drama, the situation. Don't get pulled into, you know, various plots, twists, turns, you know, other people's directions of the drama. You know, instead, just you know, view it as 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 a movie that you know will have a happy, or at least a resolved ending. I mean, of course, you know, you have compassion for for everyone involved. Yet, you don't have, you don't have to let drama pull you down in any way. You know, as you force, you know, as you focus, you know, upon the, you know, the positive, You know, then you bring about positive intentions. You know, let go of attempts to, you know, try to make everyone happy because it's impossible. There is no, there is no pleasing everyone. It, you cannot do it. Uh, you know, allow others to make their own choices in life. You know, don't delay your life's purpose by focusing upon other people's issues. In work, you know, maybe just avoid gossiping. But I feel really there's an ending to something. Whether it's work or relationship. Okay, let's see what your Chakra Wisdom Oracle card is. Completion. Sorry. Guys, this is this is an ending card. I, I'm not surprised. I I'm not surprised. Spirit is amazing. So as the weekly advice for this card, okay. I mean, even though it's an ending. You know, for this week, 
Think about the importance of endings. You know, sometimes we often look back on events to evaluate them. But it's not often that we pause to get perspective on our own existence, much less consider how we feel about it. So, are you emotionally present in all phases of your experience, including endings, or do you avoid them? You know, I always see this card as remember the sacrifice and struggles that you went through with this card. You know, you know, remember the struggles. Especially if you have a hard, if you're having a hard time in this relationship ending, okay? Remember, I don't care what deck this come, this card comes from. I always see this as, as ending, as endings due to cheating, being unfaithful. And if you're anything like me, it has to be an ending. You know, for me personally, I'm not judging anybody. There's no forgiveness. I mean, in your heart, of course. And for the other person, forgiveness. For the other person, for you. But as far as letting them back in, there's no... There's no way after cheating for me. So, if that's the case for some of you, remember that for this week. Um, and, you know, ask her, you know, Keep this in mind this week, because the rest of your life, of your of your life lying ahead of you, you know, just ask yourself: What emotional risks are you willing to take? To be, do, have, or create what you desire. What would your what would your life look like if you never had you know this particular endings or any other particular ending in your life You know, and really this week, just maybe try to take a risk this week by setting an intention to declare complete anything that you feel is lingering and dragging you down emotionally. You know, now that I'm really, you know, looking at the ten of air, completion, you are coming full circle. You are coming to, to some sort of completion. That's great. That's wonderful. It's a great message, air signs. I mean, it's a... I mean, for those of you who really don't want this ending and are sad over it, listen. I know the heart wants what the heart wants, but... 
in this deck. And these two cards coming out like this. It's an ending that needs to happen. It, 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 it feels karmic for some of you. It just, it just needs to be. And there's new opportunities afterwards. And you're gonna, and you're gonna get, take your power back. Thank God, because anybody who does this shit and puts you through this, this is the Ten of Swords in the, in the other tarot decks. Being stabbed in the back. I don't, like I said, it, it this card is, it's endings due to adul adultery for me. You're gonna get your power back. You're gonna come out of this stronger than ever. Okay, air signs. Thank you so much for joining me at Tarot Readings by Roxby. Again, I apologize with the monthly, but. And I, and you know, I did that. You air signs were the last ones I did. That's why I'm going to do a love reading for you guys. And yeah, I see where the confusion came in. That is that, that is, see, I almost said Sagittarius again. And two signs. I don't know what it is. It's always been that way for years for me. Aquarius. That is yours. That is your monthly. It is not Sagittarius's monthly. And I apologize deeply. Deeply. I mean, after that many comments I noticed this morning on, on it, I really needed... I You know, first it was only like two of you. And I didn't, I'm sorry, I really didn't, I mean, I answered you, commented back, I, but I just didn't really give it too much thought. And now there's like four or five. I, I knew I needed to really look into it today. And, and I really, I deeply apologize. And I really will try very hard. I'm going to write your sign down from now on. Right in, right in front of me. Right here. <laughs> Somewhere here. Um. And Sagittarius, too. But thank you very much for your kind, your, you know, being kind about it. I, I appreciate that. You guys are awesome. Okay, guys. Have a blessed day. Sunday fun day. I'm going to the fair. I hope you guys are doing something fun like that. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.